Hello to Australia's party boy, Corey. Living legend, mate. Well done. Housemates, please welcome back Terry. That's low, man. What do you girls think of Corey being in the house? I feel like screaming. Sunglasses not to be worn inside the Big Brother house. Sorry, Big Brother. Tonight on Big Brother, party boy Corey gate crashes the house. Corey, is it? Yeah. Terry's back. And Nobby's mad. I'm not a camping man, Terry. Introducing the web winners, Michael, Nathan and Barney. You voted them the nation's top three, but how long will they survive? And how long before Corey and his mother, Terry, have a falling out? Stop feeling with your eyebrows. No, I do what I want. Yeah. And introducing the Danger Zone. This year, vote for your favourites, and each night we'll reveal the five least popular housemates. 24 hours after voting for 2008 started, the housemates with the fewest votes are in. In alphabetical order, Alice, Bianca, David, Rebecca and Saxon. The bottom five. Who will survive? Housemates are used to Big Brother surprises, but the arrival of 17-year-old Corey is bigger than anyone expected. Are you nervous, Corey, or what? Nervous. Yeah, you're yeah. all right, mate. It's all good. Thanks. Are you from where? Melbourne? Yeah, Melbourne. <laughs> a few minutes later, Big Brother lobs another grenade into the compound. The return of Terry, the grandmother. Oh, no way. That's low, man. That's low, man. That's low, man. Can I get a hug? Can I get a hug? For someone who likes a party, Corey is unexpectedly keen to get away from the noise and explore his new home. Nah, stuff that. Oh. So Terry, you're in the heat. Oh. Nah, oh. nah, you know I've copped it the whole I week. Got to see. I've copped it the whole week, Terry. <laughs> and I'm staying there, I can't take a step in the house and you think I'm gonna be nice and happy. Well uh 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 uh, uh. <laughs> Corey and Terry aren't the only new people in the house. Three of the most popular characters from Big Brother's first ever online audition have also been sent in. Lifesaver and champion swimmer Barney from Perth, rock singer and cyberspace celebrity Michael from Melbourne, and Adelaide physiotherapist and DJ Nathan. When I was a teenager, I slept in a comedy band in the snow. Oh, well, I'm not a camping man, Terry, unfortunately. <laughs> Doesn't matter. How, how long have you got to be in there? A week? I don't know. <laughs> he said forever. Oh, you've been in there for a week already? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. That's all right, man. Mm -hmm. Goose, goose, goose. Oh, that's pretty mad. I saw you, I saw you having a chat there. Terry. Nobody. Good job. Embrace me. Embrace me. the frisbee. Yeah, where is it? I should chat to me. I was like, no, I don't want to talk. Don't worry, Travis, please. I don't embrace everything like you do, my friend. I think you do. I think you do. Very good. Very good. <laughs> where is it, Saxa? Okay. What do you girls think of Corey being in the house? I feel like screaming. Yeah, yeah. So How I'm do you very, feel? I'm not very happy about him. I just don't like the fact that someone who did something like he does and gets all that notoriety, but exactly. he looks he looks bloody oh. scared. He's packing Good, he should he's be. He's packing it. He's locked in a house with he's me, 17, man. but you're 18 be. and... and um... Oh my God, what if you end up marrying him? What? 
<laughs> but the new one, this is what she's got to realise. She went the first morning. I didn't really want her to go. But since then, we've all been getting along merrily. Yeah. She comes back in after work and starts to tell us what to do. Everyone's like, gonna... We'll just say, Terry, well, I respect her as an old lady, but <laughs> you're not no, our lady. No, but yeah. she's not our mum. You know what I mean? No, no. The last thing I want to do is someone to dampen. Dampen. No, and that's it. Yeah. Yeah. And that's all. Yeah, you're the same as me. You said you're the same as me. We're 33. But, mate, I want the most immature 33 year olds getting around. What if he gets really gay and that young kid and cracks onto someone, like tries to kiss him? That would be what? so cool. Corey? <laughs> he tries to patch Bridget. Imagine we all just patch him. He's got a girlfriend. Send him into... no. Oh. no, he's single. Is he? Zach just said he's single. <laughs> we don't know, you don't understand. So are you in there for good or you Man, don't know? I don't know yet. I've been there for a... Man, listen to this. I've been there for a week, right? Yeah. I can't go inside. Whenever I do, I get punished. Oh, so you can't even go inside? No, that's a bad thing. I can't step foot inside. So I'm showering naked there. No, but I always say that about myself. Everyone mm. always makes assumptions without meeting me, so yeah. I'm getting that's into what, the That's why I sat there and you said that and I went... <laughs> Even though I hate it and I hate that there's a million kids out there going, let's do that sh**. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just talk to him. I hate the idea of everyone sitting there and going... Oh. I, but no, everyone's, I, everyone's it was just impressive. at the beginning I was a little oh, yeah. put off, but yeah. now I think you just get to know just, a kid. He hey, can't be that bad. He's just still a human. He's still a human. Yeah, exactly right. It's got to be good in some ways. Exactly right. <laughs> we were just, I was just saying to Nat that you're the tough guy that you're not really oh, tough. Nice. You're not oh, really good. May have overreacted, but I'll get to like it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Trev hates the tickle. He loves it. <laughs> he just doesn't know how to ever get me up. No, he's not going to be worried when he gets it. Don't tickle me. <laughs> Tell me about yourself. I'm 17. Yeah. Uh, I know from Melbourne. Yeah. Can I join um, this conversation? Well, that's in Melbourne. Um, do you know Narrowan or Cranbourne? Yeah. Yeah, I live in I live in Cranbourne now with a mate and stuff like that. And yeah, so Cranbourne. Um, so you don't live at home, or you live with your mates? No, nah, I don't live at home. Like I can live home, but me and my mates we've sort of got our own place now. Oh, nice. So yeah, we're I couldn't do together. that. I couldn't How do you mates live with? Or it's just like um, a communal. Type. Just two of us, and then there's an oh, three all together. Yeah. Yeah. And then he's misses and stuff like that sort of thing like that. Do you have a missus? Yeah, not really. Don't like him? No, I, 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 I sort of, sort of, there is, there well, is. Some dudes don't like missus. No, there is a sort of girl, but yeah, take yeah. it slow sort of thing. Yeah. But yeah, um, Good. How long yeah. have you known her? Tell us more about this girl. <laughs> what she look like? No, no, no. How long have you known her? Oh, I've known her. Oh, I wouldn't have a clue. I've known her for a while. So it's a real confusing. This yeah. is oh, sorry, Big Brother. That's huge. Terry. Corey to the diary room. Big Brother has plans for both Corey and Terry, and it's time to reveal them. <laughs> don't fret, Corey, you'll be right. I don't bite yet. Mum, come and sit next to me. This seat's not very comfortable, you know, is it? I'm hot in here. Well, they all seem pretty cool, guys. They are. Any sparks flying between the girls yet? Any of them? They like um, Nathan, I think. No, no. Yeah. Um, Nathan, no, he's the most friendly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Open, yeah. openly yeah. friendly yeah. out of yeah. all of them. The others are a bit blown away by it, I think. Yeah, they'll yeah. come to love Barney, I imagine. Oh, he looks like Yeah, they him. like him as a little pretty bloke. Yeah. How long have you been single for? About four years. Why? Maybe some like As you know, Corey is a guest in the Big Brother house. It is your job to look after him. You must ensure Corey eats healthily, goes to bed at a reasonable hour, keeps the right company, and is well behaved and courteous to others. You're gonna have a fun job. <laughs> if you succeed in this mission, Big Brother will reinstate you as a housemate. Do you understand? I do, Big Brother. <clears throat> I think it's going to be a bit of a challenge, definitely. Especially um, trying to keep him away from a few of the fellas out there that uh, obviously think that he's a bit of a hero. Do you think Corey is a hero? Most definitely not. Why? I see um, young boys dressing like him, acting like him, so obviously he's become a bit of a cult figure. What? what? Oh, I thought you were crying from here. <laughs> um, 
so you know he hasn't been a good role model for young people that's for sure Corey yes be well is Terry boring you <laughs> no be well I just I'm one of those fidgety people just yeah sorry about that do you think you are a good role model Oh, no, I don't see myself as a role model at all. I'm a normal kid and I don't think I'm better than anyone. So that's why I'm in here trying to prove everyone wrong. So Terry's mission is going to be easy then? Well, in certain bits maybe, but I'm not sure if keeping away from some of the boys and stuff, I can't, just, just can't keep away from who I want to talk to and stuff like that and if I want to sleep or not sort of thing. So I don't know, I guess I'll have to wait and see. Coming up, Corey's strange diary room request. You can hook like the whole house up even like with one hair straightener or anything like that. To save Ben, dial 1902-555569. To save Bianca, dial 1902-555564. To save Bridget, dial 1902-555561. To save David, dial 1902-555570. Or text their names to 191010. Belong votes cost 55 cents max. 190 votes for mobiles extra. Lines close 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time this Sunday, May 11. Terms and conditions, bigbrother.com.au. Push and wait for Big Brother to open. Corey. Big brother. Um, I know you're not allowed electrical appliances, but you can hook like the whole house up even like with one hair straightener or anything like that? Like as a favour or anything, no. Can you seriously tell Big Brother that a hair straightener is your greatest concern? No, it's not. I was just having a I'm um, just asking you if yeah, just asking. Corey, sunglasses are not to be worn inside the Big Brother house. Sorry, Big Brother. Is there anything else? No, Big Brother. That is all. Thank you. Hello? This is Big Brother. Yep. Nobby. How is your evening going? Well, it was good at the start, but I mean, I'm still happy being here, but you know, there was a dampener, of course. <laughs> and all Cause you just asked me. Do you get this whole protective over the original <laughs> family sort of thing yes, going on? I've had I just did! I said, yeah, like, I, I don't am. Wanna, you know, these are our people. Originals, it's it's, it's oh, like, yeah. you know, we're all family, like cousins, brothers, sisters, and all of a sudden one of our mates comes and jumps in bed. It's like that, though. Yeah. It okay, is. I, just I don't know. It's just... I came around in a back, I said, I said, I want to go to the toilet for a minute. There's people everywhere, and I went, no, oh, I'm all over a place, said, my boys. I thought, these are my boys. Uh, these are my boys. Yeah, buddy, yeah. Thank you, Becky. I thought, my boys are at the back, I'm right. Very protective now. Yeah. I reckon I'm going to embrace. I'm going to embrace you. Oh yeah. Positive dude and that, but like, full on gets on your nerves sometimes. Like, you, like yesterday when we were screwing up our task, he was just like, "Nah, guys, we're doing really well. We're all doing well here." Like. Is that his actual voice or...? Is he yeah, yeah, on? that's it. Like, when I came in the house, I thought he was taking the piss out of me, trying to call me, like, mock me for being gay or something. Well, I'm not gay, but trying to say that I am or whatever. Yeah. But, like, that's his actual voice. With five new people in the house, the group decides to formally introduce themselves. You may begin. 
Go on the stage. Big big on the stage. Yeah. All right, I'll stand up on here. On the stage. Oh, OK. Hey, Barney. Uh, my name is Barney. I'm 33 years old. Ooh. I try to tell people I'm not, though. <laughs> no, um, and, uh, yeah, I haven't really yeah, grown up yet. <laughs> no, I'm not Bobby Brady. Oh, I've done a lot of bit of, a lot of travelling around Australia and a, a fair bit overseas as well. Do a little bit of modelling here and there for a bit of fun. Um, no, look, I love a challenge, and that's a big reason why I'm here. I, I do love challenging myself, so I'm looking forward to it. Fire up, Nato. I'm Nathan, or get called Nate a lot. Um, I'm are 27. You? Have you got a Have boyfriend? I'm in a girlfriend. I am. I, I uh, <laughs> I am heterosexual, uh, so I don't have a boyfriend and I don't have a girlfriend either. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. Thanks, Goss. Yeah. Thanks, Goss. Thanks, Goss. My name's Corey. Yay. I'm 17. Um, I love to party. I <laughs> <laughs> um, love to go out with mates. Lived in Melbourne pretty much my whole life. I've travelled everywhere around Australia. Um, Favourite place I've travelled is Fiji. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. You're a full-time rocker. Yeah. Have fun, Corey. Uh, what up, mate? Uh. <laughs> Michael. Yeah. Yeah. Go, Corey. Go, Dave. Well, this, this is weird. Go, um, okay, my name's Michael. Do I call myself Straight Edge? I've been, like, yeah, Straight Edge for, like, 11 years, so I don't do drugs that's and cool. don't drink that's and don't great. smoke. So is that it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, all right, all right. I don't know that you want to hear it. Here we go. Okay. Actually, if I tell you a bit about my life, it might sort of make you understand why I'm the kind of person that I am. I was... Uh, I'm from a divorced parents, and my mother remarried when I was seven. Um, my, when my parents divorced... Was this in I, the 1900s? Sorry? <laughs> no. <laughs> the, the, late, the late 50s, early 60s, actually. Your mum could be more than 100 years old. No. No, I, my, mother's in, my, mother's in her, my mother's in her 70s. So she had a very difficult time with us three raising us. And you're like, back in my mother's era, and I guess this is why um, uh, women's liberation came about, uh, women depended on men for money. They didn't have their own jobs, they didn't have their own cars, and, and so I guess that's probably why she remarried, because she needed a man to look after her, whereas us girls these days, we're lucky. We don't need men to look after us, because we have our own jobs and we have our own... We can make our own life without having to depend on a man. I left home at 16 to live with my grandmother, and my mother told me that if you leave home, don't ever come back. And that's exactly what I did. It's a very, a very long involved story, but um, so I lived with my grandmother until I got married at the age of 18, which was another stupid thing I did. My age. Was and, uh, yeah. <laughs> but, but a lot of women my generation got married that young. A lot of women my generation got married that young. And, oh, and by the way, the only reason I chose to have children was because I saw a lot of people who couldn't have children. I worked in pharmacy and I saw... What's so funny, Nomi? They're cold. <laughs> oh. I'm not as interested in that. And, um, so I've had two long-term relationships, one for nine years, and that's a really long story. And now I've been with the guy I'm with for quite a long time. So, so I mean, kids from a divorced family don't have to grow up and be on drugs and do all the wrong things. They can grow up to be good kids if the parents on both sides do the right thing by the kids. So that's basically my life story. So do you understand a bit more about me now? Yes. Terry, we didn't really have much time the first night, but we've made up for it. Next up, the doctor and the lifesaver find they have something in common. <laughs> to save Dixie, dial 1902 555562. To save Nobby, dial 1902 555574. To save Rebecca, dial 1902 555571. To save Renee, dial 1902 555563. Or text their names to 191010.
they, um, they became a national office. Barney has only been in the house a few hours but has already attracted a nickname, Greg Brady. And so does that mean you, you can only guard on weekends? Sorry? Can you only lifeguard on weekends then? Yeah, I only, like, the lifeguard stuff is just a voluntary thing that I do on okay, the weekends. So you, it's, not, it's not a job that, yeah. uh, as such, and you do a little bit I don't for know why the elephant has four eyes. Oh, look, Alice, Alice is going to be soon, Alice Brady. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'll go. Um, whereas lawn is, you know, we'd say that's piss week. So, okay. You know. All right. But that's because we also have, they're our number one rivalry club. Yeah. So I'm never going to speak you know, highly of them. <laughs> you haven't been to sleep for ages. No, I'm not going to go to sleep for ages. Here we go. Come on. Ooh. What have I? <laughs> Come on. Oh, here's our stuff. It's not mine. Come on. House guests. Yes, we will. As you've noticed, your bags are available, along with those of tonight's new housemates. You may have noticed, Big Brother has provided four additional lockers. As there is a shortfall, Terry and Corey, you will share a locker. What are lockers for, Big Brother? I'm putting my stuff in. Corey. Yes, people are. When you're not using them, your personal possessions and clothing must be stowed in your locker at all times. So you don't have a choice yet. Is that clear? Yes. You seem less than thrilled about this. Hmm, pretty much. Why? Because mm, I'd like my own personal space and stuff like that. Everyone else has, why can't I? I might be a house guest, but I'd still like personal space. Why can't I keep myself in a bag? All my stuff aren't going to fit in well, one stop, locker. Don't stop arguing. We'll, we'll do it. We'll sort it out. Stop arguing. All my stuff aren't going to fit in that locker. Well, we'll just have to make do. All your stuff has to go in. All of it, he said. How's all of it going to go in the locker this big? Look at my bag. We'll sort it out, don't worry about it. Whatever. What the hell are we going to do with the rest of the clothes? Stop fiddling with your eyebrow. No, and do what we'll I want. Pull it out. You'll hurt yourself. I'm putting all my... I'm putting everything I can in the locker, like literally everything. So you can put your stuff out somewhere else. I'm putting everything in. I don't let my other stuff go. Because I don't know what I want to wear and I don't, don't know what to wear. Like, I might want to wear that, I might not want to wear that. That's why I bring all my clothes. <laughs> We've got to, if we've got to compromise and make a decision well, I ain't between compromise the two of us, we can try to fit it all in the one locker. Well, we have to sort our clothes out so half and half. No, we can fit it all in the lockers. Life's about compromising, mate. We can mate. fit it all in the lockers. Life's about we compromising. We can fit it all in the lockers. You have to do make we do with what you've got. We can fit it all in the lockers. So you don't believe in making do with what you've got. We can fit it all in the lockers. What all yours I and mine? I shouldn't have to share crap. All yours and mine. We can fit in the locker. Well, we'll try. We'll or try. Whatever. House guests, you may inform tonight's new housemates their bags are available. That is all. Thank you. Can you sneak that up for me, please? Yes. Just put it up there. Didn't have to throw it like that. Didn't mean to throw it. After the break, Corey goes AWOL. He jumped over the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, he did. To save Rory, dial 1902 555 To save Saxon, dial 1902 555 To save Travis, dial 1902 555 To save Alice, dial 1902 555 Or text their names to 191010. Are you sparring it up, Corey? We'll go and spar. Yeah. No, not yet. It's a bit cold. Is, is, what do you take these things for? Freezing. Or what? No, I'm just leaving them. Terry's cleaning. Where's your charge, Terry? Where's Corey? 
in no, there. I just came out to have a look where he was. He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. I was just coming out to see if someone had drowned him in the bottom there. No, no oh. Terry, he jumped over the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, he did. Are you serious? Yes. Yeah. Well, That's why we were wondering we, where we you were. We thought he was allowed to go out. I thought you... He jumped over what wall? He said to us that he's allowed to go out there. That yeah, it's OK to you. Through the target. He went out the dark target. No, he's yeah. crawling up that tree. See how there's those... Uh, the blue Nobby rain did tanks? did it yesterday. Yeah. You can go up over those rain tanks and drop down. He said he, he was allowed to come and go as he pleased. Oh, oh. I'll go and talk to Big Brother. I think oh, you should. Dobby him in. Dobby him in. Is it high water? Sarah, you're his chaperone. Yeah, you've got to the big hats around you, mate. Yeah, I want to go for a ride. Yeah, yeah. 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 Terry. Big brother, it appears that Corey has escaped the yard. Terry. Yes, big brother. Only hours ago, big brother appointed you. Corey's guardian. <laughs> yes, big brother. How are you planning to retrieve him? Well, I'm certainly not going to go and climb the tree and climb out and try and find him. Why not? Well, I suppose I could. Yeah, I suppose I could. I didn't know if, I'd, if I would be in just as much trouble as him if I climbed the tree and got out too. I suppose if that's what I have to do, that's, if that's what I'm allowed to do, well, that's what I'll do. I'll climb the tree and go and see if he's out there. Over the hill, over the wall, and she went to Big Brother. Yeah, she thinks she jumped the fence. <laughs> <laughs> I should hide. Go on. Yeah, hide in that jump in that jump in that thing. I'm going to fit there. No, you will. You fit in so oh. reckon you fit in the locker, man. You can, huh? you'd fit in my locker. Fit you fit in there. I'd fit in there, but just keep out in the locker and <laughs> get let out. That's so good, she's dobbing on you. <laughs> Dobbed on. She's an actual dobber. Terry! Yes. Really? Oh. Yeah, Come here. Guess what, what, I, guess what I'm going to do. Apparently, Corey, they reckon Corey climbed a tree and got out there. And our, our big brother suggests that. Um, why didn't I go after him? So that's what I'm going to do, climb the tree and I'm going out there. <laughs> no, Corey's in the thing there. He's in there? Yeah. I'm... He's not out there. I don't know. Yeah. He's getting his locker organised. <laughs> no, I thought... The no. kids just said he was in here. No. Where? What's going on? What? That Corey's in here. No. You so. No, it's actually not. Seriously. Wait, um, Terry, he's gone over the fence. I'm not lying. I'm serious. He's gone over. He the did fence. get generally go over the fence. He jumped the fence. What? His big brother reckon he hasn't. No. Oh. Okay. I saw well, him. We're not the... saying you're lying. I just. No. I saw him in the tree. Okay. And then I turned around and he was gone. And I was like, What the hell? I was like, Where's he gone? And everyone's like, I think he just climbed over. And someone else saw it. And they're like, He just climbed over. He's he's legged it, girlfriend. He's gone. Oh. Is there? How do you know if someone's in the toilet? No. No, but how do you know if someone's in there? No, I, I just want to go. I don't see. Yeah, just pop into that yeah. one. There's someone in that one. There's someone in this Yeah, one. there's someone in there. Someone. Is someone in there? Yeah, someone's in there. Pop into that one. When, she, when, oh, when she comes out, just pop into that one. You can grab a donut on the way through. Get your hand off me. <laughs> there you go, Benny. What's happening? Yeah, so she's full on like checking those change rooms, but he's hiding in the toilet. Oh, it's not right! <laughs> <laughs> Did you tell him what we said? Did Did brother say yeah, yeah, and then, then Dixie's like, no, I actually saw him, and then Mike's like, yeah, no, I saw him jump the tree and leg it. It's funny, Dixie, Someone was in the girls' toilets. Oh. Maybe Corey was in the girls' toilets. Oh, this is awesome! Yeah. I have to go over and get him. Yeah. I have to go and climb over and get him. <coughs> Grab him by the throat. I'm going to go out and get my PJs from the backyard. 
Well, these aren't my PJs. These are just clothes. Oh. That was very close. <laughs> we gone? Yep. Where'd hey, you go? she went to look for... Why are you hiding from her? I don't know, they want me to. <laughs> <laughs> so he's not back in the pool? Where's your man? I'm going to get him. Oh, really? All right, see ya. I'll climb over the fence and get him. you got to go up the tree. Are you serious? How do you get up there? No, we've done it. you get to put your feet in the blue holes and all that. No, no, you say, hey, seriously. Here, hang on. It's a long hey. way up. Don't, don't Terry, pull. What? Just go to sleep, eh, and let him go. No. Just, just yeah, let don't, him go. Don't try and climb over, like, seriously. It's, been, <laughs> it's pretty hard. So you're telling me he went up there, bull oh, All right. Never, Terry, what? What are you doing? He reckons he went over the wall. They didn't. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't. Where is he? He's hiding from you. He's in the thing. That's what I thought. And everyone wants me to play along with it, but it's ridiculous. Why give him more glory for being a tosser? So that's yeah. That's what I thought. I thought there's no way he, he went up there. Coming up, Big Brother throws a wild party and tells the housemates they have to clean it up. To save Ben, dial 1902 555569. To save Bianca, dial 1902 555564. To save Bridget, dial 1902 555561. To save David, dial 1902 555570. Or text their names to 191010. Belong votes cost 55 cents max. 190 votes for mobiles extra. Lines close 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time this Sunday, May 11. Terms and conditions, bigbrother.com.au. But, you know, when you're around, you're going to realise who's, who's been, like, the deliberately nice guy, this, that, yeah. you know, overly nice guy, this, that, an yeah. overly nice girl, this, that. You'll find out, mate, yeah. in a few days. No, it's good, man. Everyone's all right, except for Terry. <laughs> I can't believe how much you hate her. Are you up, Terry? On the way. Why? Is um, Corey meant to be sleeping here? Yeah. Because he's not in his bed. Oh, well. Too bad. She's pretty well, like, she does add to the, um, you know, dynamics of the yeah, house. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. It's kind of like, it's because it, she wants, it's like she's ready to argue. Who? Terry. Your chaperone. Yeah, your mate. Your mum. That's the thing, if I see her getting, because technically she's not completing her task right now because she's gone to bed before me. Exactly. Yeah. She <laughs> has to get me to bed. This is Big Brother. Terry. As Corey's guardian. One of your responsibilities is, is to ensure he goes to bed at a reasonable hour. Oh, man. Terry, your mission oh. is slipping away from you. Don't listen to her. No, but then she'll come out and annoy us. Have a look. Mm. Oh, you're ready too. Mm. It's having a gas bag. Mm. So none of you are going to bed tonight? No. Oh, OK. Are you going to sleep anytime soon? Well, I might. Mm -hmm. and if you had any consideration for anyone, you'd go to bed too. All right. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Huh? What are you laughing at? Well, because obviously you don't have any considerations for anybody, so... I'm not considering for you. For me? Yeah, yeah, I'm for not me. Tired. Oh. That's not my fault. You have to put me to sleep and I'm not tired. What does a 17-year-old kids do? They don't go to sleep. Okay. Whatever. What can you do, exactly. kids, these days? I... Uh, She's got to have a nervous breakdown, the poor old thing. Like, good, man. <laughs> Seriously. We're gonna go and see what we can do. Ghost is juicy, Minnie. We are. <laughs> are you really? Oh, oh Roger. Seduce him. Go out and get him and say, come in and, and sleep with us. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. Thank you, girls. I should have thought of that one. <laughs> what are you guys laughing at? It's cold. Are you coming to sleep? Oh, Dixie's out Why? here. We want to talk to you. I have to go to sleep. 
No, we want you to come in. Everyone wants to talk to you. Oh. Or is Terry making you do this? No. As if no, they no, 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 no. do carry I wouldn't listen, no. Oh, Don't go on for a bit, yeah. Oh. Oh, nice. Yay! <laughs> Dawn on day eight, and something strange has happened overnight. The backyard has been trashed. The post-party mess is the start of this week's task, designed to make Corey feel at home. To pass, housemates will have to clean up after Big Brother's parties all week. Parties they're not invited to. Last night. It's all about the mess. Uh... See you later. See you later, big brother. text message on that screen. Where? What the hell has he done to the backyard? Great party last night. So I was about the mess. <laughs> mm. God. Oh, look at it. Oh my God. Why is that, no why is that noise so loud? Oh dude, we've got a letter here. This is Big Brother. All housemates except Nobby to the lounge immediately. Housemates, <laughs> Big Brother had his own party last night and you weren't invited. As you can see, more gate crashes arrived after you went to bed. They left quite a mess. Your task is to clean it up. Oh. There will be a house inspection in one hour and the backyard will need to be immaculate. Oh. <laughs> the reward for passing the task is the window in the lounge room. Enjoy, oh. enjoy the after party. Oh, we have to oh, let's go. Oh, let's go. Oh, let's go. Oh, oh, my God. Look. Look. What is it? <gasps> Clothes? Clothes? What? Clothes? It's so it's so it's not an hour again. Let's just go. Oh. No, let's go. Let's just we go. Just go. go. I want to supply steaks, a barbecue more than you tend to get. Oh, Oh, he's gross. <sighs> yeah, we got bags. Where do we put it all? It's alright. Okay. Oh, Gary. I find I. I'm tired. I'm gonna go for the table. You can yeah, go for the table too. Yeah, we have to recycle. Oh, there's a bag of table for you, mate. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Just oh, the oh, treadmill on so we've got a timer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I've got 55 minutes. Time is on. After the break. I can't believe we took the food. So where's all our food gone? To save Dixie, dial 1902 555562. To save Nobby, dial 1902 555574. To save Rebecca, dial 1902 555571. To save Renee, dial 1902 555563. Or text their names to 191010. As part of this week's task, housemates have to clean up after a wild Big Brother party. They've been given an hour and now only have 10 minutes left. Big Brother, we got as many people as we can get. If you have to sabotage us, I swear to God. So, do we blame Terry for not, not looking out for Corey? Is that the whole. <laughs> is this what this thing is about? <laughs> And there's my sonny's in, there's my Kanye West sonny's in the bottom of the pool. Oh. Was that bread making recipe there before? No, I don't think yeah, so. That's it. No, definitely not. That's how everyone's making bread. Look what he's done. No. Oh no. 
There's another surprise for the housemates. Big Brother has removed all their food. If they win the task, they win the gourmet contents of the prize window. Failure equals a week on staples. Everything's gone. Everything's gone. We smoked. Yeah. Everything's gone. And there's a recipe for bread. <laughs> and the ground rice. It's food gone. It's like we're doing the... It's like a famine. Dicks. Sorry? It's like we're doing a famine. He's got faith. All the party stuff's gone. Yep. I knew I should have eaten more. See, Corey, you should have stole some more cupcakes. <laughs> you needed to eat more. Take them into your bed. Well, it's come off a bit better than I was expecting it to. So I still have a little bit, hey? Don't forget him when to do it. Just let it sleep. Can't believe he took the food. What did he leave there? Veggies. Too happy. It's not popped. Oh, not the food, man. I can't believe we did that in an hour. Neither. Let's... Well, That's good. There's all yeah. your supervising. You're right. <laughs> just put just a little bit in the kitchen. See, I'm not that good at cleaning, but I'm good at like, watching everyone get it done. Yeah, you're a good supervisor. Yeah, I'm a professional supervisor. Yeah. 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 There's, it still heaps a little bit, which I reckon we'd get done for. Let's not clap too soon. Bianca, Dixie. Big Brother, can you please give us a quick inspection? We're finished. We think. We hope. Yes, you did clean the backyard up within the allocated time. However, this is not a daily task. It is weekly. Therefore, if you pass the task at the end of the week, you will reap the rewards. So where's all our food gone? Do we have to eat all that food all week? I don't know. I think I get it now. So Housemates, we... the food in the kitchen is your staples for the week. The food in the prize window will be available to you if you pass the weekly task at the end of the week. <laughs> What day is the, the end, end of the week? week is like Sunday. So we have to keep it like that for. <laughs> we have to eat that food all week. No, We're confused. That but food. It sounds like we have to eat that, that for a week. And at we the don't end get of that week, food we until that. next week. I think we're going to have to do this every day it's this week. It's called a weekly task. It's not like. Oh, so we have to clean up every day. No. Maybe this was the whole task for this. This is the party week, Corey. Party week! <laughs> Corey. Every morning. <laughs> Sparkle out. Uh. <laughs> what if someone just stays up all night out the back? And just whenever a ninja comes down. Yeah, a baseball bat. When I was down, that's it. <laughs> ah, just for when I want. Tomorrow, Corey and Terry. The standoff continues. I was cutting an orange before. She's like, oh, Corey, don't cut that. You're going to cut your finger and stuff like that. It's not like I've never cut an orange in my life. To save Rory, dial 1902555566. To save Saxon, dial 1902555565. To save Travis, dial 1902555568. To save Alice, dial 1902555572. Or text their names to 191010. Brought to you from Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother. It's a game. You gotta go up the tree. You serious? How do you get up there? No, we've done it. You gotta put your feet in the blue holes and all that. 
No, no, it's out here. It's like, here? Hang on. It's a long hey. way up. Don't, don't. Terry. Oh. What? Just go to sleep, eh, and let him go. No. Just, just yeah, let don't, him go. Don't try and climb over. Like, seriously, it's, <laughs> it's pretty hard. So you're telling me he went up there? Bull oh, All right. Never, man. Just... Are you scared of the dark? Yeah. So when the lights go off, what are you doing? Terry. What? What are you doing? He reckons he went over the wall. They didn't. He didn't. He didn't? He didn't. Where is he? He's hiding from you. He's in the thing. That's what I thought. And everyone wants me to play along with it, but it's ridiculous. Why give him more glory for being a tosser? So that's, yeah, that's what I thought. I thought, there's no way he, he went up there. Coming up, Big Brother throws a wild party and tells the housemates they have to clean it up. To save Ben, dial 1902 555569. To save Bianca, dial 1902 555564. To save Bridget, dial 1902 555561. To save David, dial 1902 555570. Or text their names to 191010. Belong votes cost 55 cents max. 190 votes for mobiles extra. Lines close 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time this Sunday, May 11. Terms and conditions, bigbrother.com.au. But, you know, one year around, you're going to realise who's, who's been, like, the deliberately nice guy, this, that, yeah. you know, overly nice guy, this, that, not yeah. overly nice girl, this, that. You'll find out, mate, yeah. in a few days. No, nah, it's good, man. Everyone's all right, except for Terry. <laughs> I can't believe how much you hate her. Are you up, Terry? I'm awake. Why? Is um, Corey meant to be sleeping here? Yeah. Because he's not in his bed. Oh, well. Too bad. She's pretty. Well, like, she does add to the, um, you know, dynamics of the yeah, house. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. It's kind of like it's because it, she wants. It's like she's ready to argue. Who? Terry. Your chaperone. Yeah, your mate. Your mum. That's the thing. If I see her getting, because technically she's not completing a task right now, because she's gone to bed before me. Exactly. Yeah. She <laughs> has to get me to bed. This is Big Brother. Terry. As Corey's guardian. One of your responsibilities is, is to ensure he goes to bed at a reasonable hour. Oh, man. Terry, your mission oh. is slipping away from you. <laughs> Don't listen to her. No, but then she'll come out and annoy us. It's not pop. Oh, not the food, man. I can't believe we did that in an hour. Neither. Well, yeah, let's go it's all your supervising. See, I'm not that good at cleaning, but I'm good at like, watching everyone get it done. Yeah, you're a good supervisor. Yeah, I'm a professional supervisor. Yeah. 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 There's, it still hates a little bit, which I reckon we'd get done for. Let's not clap to this. Bianca, Dixie. Big Brother, can you please give us a quick inspection? We're finished, we think, we hope. Yes, you did clean the backyard up within the allocated time. However, this is not a daily task. It is weekly. Therefore, if you pass the task at the end of the week, you will reap the rewards. So where's all our food gone? Do we have to eat all that food all week? I don't know. I think I get it now. So Housemates, weekly. the food in the kitchen is your staples for the week. The food in the prize window will be available to you if you pass the weekly task at the end of the week. <laughs> Like, what day is the, the end, end of the week, week is like Sunday. So we have to keep it like that for. We have to eat that food all week. 
We're confused. That but food. It sounds like we have to eat yeah. that for a week. And at we the don't end get of that week, food we until that. next week. I think we're going to have to do this every day it's this week. It's called a weekly task. It's not like. Oh, so we have to clean up every day. Don't know. Maybe this was the whole task for this. This is week. the party week, Corey. Party week. <laughs> Corey. Every morning. <laughs> Sparkle out. Uh. <laughs> what if someone just stays up all night out the back? And just whenever a ninja comes out. With a baseball bat. No, <laughs> just the one I want. Tomorrow, Corey and Terry. The standoff continues. I was cutting an orange before. She's like, oh, Corey, don't cut that. You're going to cut your finger and stuff like that. It's not like I've never cut an orange in my life. To save Rory, dial 1902 To save Saxon, dial 1902 To save Travis. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. 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 I have to go and climb over and get him. <coughs> Grab him by the throat. I'm going to go out and get my PJs from the backyard. Well, these aren't my PJs. These are just clothes. Uh, that was very close. You going? Yep. Where'd hey, you go? She went to look for... Why are you hiding from her? I oh, don't know. They want me to. <laughs> <laughs> No. So he's not back in the pool. Yeah. Where's your man? I don't see anyone. I'm going to get him. Oh, really? All right, see ya. I'll climb over the fence and get him. you got to go up the tree. You serious? How do you get up there? No, we've done it. you get got to put your feet in the blue holes and all that. No, no, you say, hey. seriously. Here. Hang on. It's a long hey. way up. Don't, don't. Terry. Pull. What? Just go to sleep, eh, and let him go. No. Just, just yeah, let don't, him go. Don't try and climb over. Like, seriously, it's, been, it's pretty hard. So you're telling me he went up there, bull oh, All right. Never, man. Just... He used to get in the dark. Yeah. So when the lights get off, what do you do? Terry. What? What are you doing? He reckons he went over the wall. They didn't. He didn't. He didn't? He didn't. Where is he? He's hiding from you. He's in the thing. That's what I thought. And everyone wants me to play along with it, but it's ridiculous. Why give him more glory for being a tosser? So that's, yeah, that's what I thought. I thought, there's no way he, he went up there. Coming up, Big Brother throws a wild party and tells the housemates they have to clean it up. To save Ben, dial 1902 555569. To save Bianca, dial 1902 555564. To save Bridget, dial 1902 555561. To save David, dial 1902 555570. Or text their names to 191010. Belong votes cost 55 cents max. 190 votes for mobiles extra. Lines close 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time this Sunday, May 11. Terms and conditions, bigbrother.com.au. But, you know, one year around, you're going to realise who's, who's been, like, the deliberately nice guy, this, that, yeah. you know, overly nice guy, this, that, an yeah. overly nice girl, this, that. You'll find out, mate, yeah. in a few days. No, nah, it's good, man. Everyone's all right, except for Terry. <laughs> I can't believe how much you hate her. Are you up, Terry? On the way. Why? Is um, Corey meant to be sleeping here? Yeah. Because he's not in his bed. Oh, well. Yeah. Slow sort of thing. Yeah. But yeah, um, Good. How long have you known her? Tell us more about this girl. <laughs> what she look like? No, no, no. How long have you known her? Oh, I've known her. Oh, I wouldn't have a clue. I've known her for a while. So it's a real confusing. This yeah. is oh, sorry, Big Brother. That's huge. Terry, Corey, to the diary room. Oh. Big Brother has plans for both Corey and Terry, and it's time to reveal them. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fret, Corey, you'll be right. I don't bite yet. Mum, well, come to next to me. This seat's not very comfortable, you know, is it? I'm hot in here. Oh, well, they all seem pretty cool, guys. They are. Any sparks flying between the girls yet? Been any of them? They like, um... Nathan, I think. No, no. Yeah. Nathan, oh, Nathan, no, he's the most friendly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Openly yeah. friendly yeah. out of yeah. all of them. Like the yeah. others are a bit blown away by it, I think. Yeah, they'll come to love Barney, I imagine. 
Oh, he looks like Yeah, they like him as a little pretty bloke. Yeah. How long have you been single for? About four years. Why? Maybe something like that. As you know, Corey is a guest in the Big Brother house. It is your job to look after him. You must ensure Corey eats healthily, goes to bed at a reasonable hour, keeps the right company, and is well behaved and courteous to others. You're gonna have a fun job. If you succeed in this mission, Big Brother will reinstate you as a housemate. Do you understand? I do, Big Brother. <clears throat> I think it's going to be a bit of a challenge, definitely. Especially um, trying to keep him away from a few of the fellas out there that uh, obviously think that he's a bit of a hero. Do you think Corey is a hero? Most definitely not. Why? I see um, young boys dressing like him, acting like him, so obviously he's become a bit of a cult figure. What? No. Oh, I thought you were crying from here. No. Um, so, you know, he hasn't been a good role model for young people, that's for sure. Corey. Yes, Big Brother. Is Terry boring you? <laughs> no, Big Brother. I just, I'm one of those fidgety people, just... Yeah, sorry about that. Do you think you are a good role model? Oh, no, I don't... What the hell is going on out here? I've got a text message on that screen. Where? What the hell has he done to the backyard? Great party last night. So I was about the mess. <laughs> mm. God. Oh, look at it. Oh my God. Why is that? No why is that noise so loud? Oh, dude, we got a letter here. This is Big Brother. All housemates except Nobby to the lounge immediately. Housemates, <laughs> Big Brother had his own party last night and you weren't invited. <laughs> As you can see, more gate crashes arrived after you went to bed. They left quite a mess. Your task is to clean it up. Oh. There will be a house inspection in one hour and the backyard will need to be immaculate. Oh. <laughs> the reward for passing the task is the window in the lounge room. Enjoy, oh. enjoy the after party. Oh, we have to okay, let's go. Oh, let's go. Look. Oh, my God. Look. 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 What is it? <gasps> Clothes. Clothes. What? Clothes. It's not an hour again. Let's just go. Oh. No, it's no. no. It's just we go. Can it's go. go. I want some yeah. more steaks. A barbecue more than you tend to oh, do. Oh, he's gross. Yeah, we got bags. Where do we put it all? It's alright. Okay. Where the bags are? Terry. I find I. Oh, I'm going to go for the table. You can yeah, go for the table too. Yeah, I thought we had to recycle. Oh, there's a bag of the table for you, mate. Mm. Oh. 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 Check the treadmill ones on the timer. All right, I've got 55 minutes. Time is on. After the break. Sweet. I believe you took the food. So where's all our food gone? To save Dixie, dial 1902 555562. To save Nobby, dial 1902 555574. To save Rebecca, dial 1902 555571. To save Renee, dial 1902 555563. Or text their names to 191010. He didn't. 
He didn't. He didn't. Where is he? He's hiding from you, he's in the thing. That's what I thought. And everyone wants me to play along with it, but it's ridiculous. Why give him more glory for being a tosser? So that's, yeah, that's what I thought. I thought, there's no way he, he went up there. Coming up, Big Brother throws a wild party and tells the housemates they have to clean it up. To save Ben, dial 1902 To save Bianca, dial 1902 To save Bridget, dial 1902 To save David, dial 1902 Or text their names to 191010. Belong votes cost 55 cents max. 190 votes for mobiles extra. Lines close 7pm Australian Eastern Standard Time this Sunday, May 11. Terms and conditions, bigbrother.com.au. But, you know, one year around, you're going to realise who's, who's been, like, the deliberately nice guy, this, that, yeah. you know, overly nice guy, this, that, not yeah. overly nice girl, this, that. You'll find out, mate, yeah. in a few days. No, nah, it's good, man. Everyone's all right, except for Terry. <laughs> I can't believe how much you hate her. Are you up, Terry? I'm awake. Why? Is um, Corey meant to be sleeping here? Yeah. Because he's not in his bed. Oh, well. Too bad. She's pretty. Well, like, she does add to the, um, you know, dynamics of the yeah, house. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. It's kind of like it's because it, she wants. It's like she's ready to argue. Who? Terry. Your chaperone. Yeah, your mate. Your mum. That's the thing. If I see her getting, because technically she's not completing the task right now, because she's gone to bed before me. Exactly. <laughs> she has to get me to bed. This is Big Brother. Terry, as Corey's guardian. One of your responsibilities is, is to ensure he goes to bed at a reasonable hour. Oh, man. Terry, your mission oh. is slipping away from you. <laughs> Don't listen to her. No, but then she'll come out and annoy us. Have a look. Mm. Oh, you're ready too. Mm. It's having a gas bag. Mm. So none of you are going to bed tonight? No. Oh, OK. Are you going to sleep anytime soon? Well, I might. Yeah. And if you had any consideration for anyone, you'd go to bed too. All right. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Huh? What are you laughing at? because obviously you don't have any considerations. 17-year-old Corey is bigger than anyone expected. Are you nervous, Corey, or what? Nervous. Yeah, you're yeah. all right, mate. It's all good. Thanks. Are you from where? Melbourne? Yeah, Melbourne. <laughs> a few minutes later, Big Brother lobs another grenade into the compound. The return of Terry, the grandmother. Oh, no way. That's low, man. That's low, man. That's low, man. Can I get a hug? Can I get a hug? For someone who likes a party, Corey is unexpectedly keen to get away from the noise and explore his new home. No, I stuffed that. Oh. So, Terry, you're in the heat. No, no, oh. no. Do you know I've copped it the whole I week. Forgot to see. I've copped it the whole week, Terry. <laughs> and I'm staying and I can't take a step in the house and you think I'm going to be nice and happy. Well, uh 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 uh. uh. <laughs> Corey and Terry aren't the only new people in the house. Three of the most popular characters from Big Brother's first ever online audition have also been sent in. Lifesaver and champion swimmer Barney from Perth. Rock singer and cyberspace celebrity Michael from Melbourne, and Adelaide physiotherapist and DJ Nathan. When I was a teenager, I slept in a comedy band of snow. Oh, I'm not a camping man, Terry, unfortunately. <laughs> Doesn't matter. How long have you got to be in there? A week? I don't know. <laughs> you said forever. Oh, you've been in there for a week already? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. That's all right, man. With the goose, goose, goose. Oh, that's pretty mad. I 
I saw you. I saw you having a chat to Terry. No, Good job. Impressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where is the frisbee? Yeah, where is it? <laughs> I should chat to me. I was like, no, I don't want to talk. Don't worry, Travis. Please. I don't embrace everything like you do, my friend. I think you do. I think you do. Very good. Very good. <laughs> where is it, Saxa? Okay. Well, what do you girls think of Corey being in the house? I feel like screaming. Yeah, yeah. So How I'm do you very, feel? I'm not very happy about him. I just don't like the fact that someone who did something like he does and gets all that notoriety. But he exactly. looks, he looks bloody oh. scared. He's packing. Good, he should he's be. Packing he's it. He's locked in the house with he's me, 17, man. but you're 18. And, and um... Oh my God, what if you end up marrying him? What? <laughs> But the new one, this yeah. is what she's got to realise. She went the first morning. I didn't really. It's like that, though. Yeah. It hey, is. I, just I, know, it's just... I just I came in and back. I said, I said, I want to get the toilet for you. There's people everywhere. I went, no oh, one will ever replace said, my boys. I was like, these are my boys. Uh, these are got, my are boys. Yeah, buddy, yeah. Thank you, Becky. I was like, my boys are at the back. I'm right. Very protective now. Very. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm I reckon I'm going to win, Brett. <laughs> I'm going to win, Brett. Oh, yeah. Positive dude and that, but like, full on gets on your nerves sometimes. Like, he, like yesterday when we were screwing up our task, he was just like, no nah, guys, we're doing really well, we're all doing well here. Like, is that his actual voice or? Is he yeah, yeah, it that's it. Like, when I came in the house, I thought he was taking the piss out of me, trying to call me, like, mock me for being gay or something. Like, I'm not gay, but trying to say that I am or whatever. Yeah. But like, that's his actual voice. With five new people in the house, the group decides to formally introduce themselves. You may begin. <laughs> on the stage. Big on the stage. Great. On the stage. Yeah. All right, I'll stand up on here. Stage. Oh. Okay. Bye, uh, my name is Barney. I'm 33 years old. Ooh. I try to tell people I'm not though. <laughs> no, nah, um, and uh, yeah, I haven't really You're grown up yet. Brady, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not Bobby Brady. Oh, I've done a lot of bit of, a lot of travelling around Australia and a, a fair bit overseas as well. Do a little bit of modelling here and there for a bit of fun. Um, no, nah, look, I love a challenge and that's a big reason why I'm here. I, I do love challenging myself. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm Nathan or get called Nate a lot. Um, How I'm 27. I? Have you got a Have boyfriend? Like... I mean, a girl. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have. I, I uh, am heterosexual, uh, so I don't have a boyfriend. I don't have a girlfriend either. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. My name's Corey. Yay. I'm 17. Um, I love to party. <laughs> Um, love to go out with mates, lived in Melbourne pretty much my whole life. I've travelled everywhere around Australia. Um, Favourite place I've travelled is Fiji. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. You're a full time rocker. Yeah. Have yeah. fun, Corey. Uh, what up, mate? No. Uh. <laughs> Michael! Yeah. Yeah. No, well, this, this is weird. Um, okay, <laughs> my name's Michael. I call myself Straight Edge. I've been like... It's ridiculous. Why give him more glory for being a tosser? So that's, yeah, that's what I thought. I thought, there's no way he, he went up there. Coming up, Big Brother throws a wild party and tells the housemates they have to clean it up. To save Ben, dial 1902 555569. To save Bianca, dial 1902 555564. To save Bridget, dial 1902 555561. To save David, dial 1902 555570. Or text their names to 191010. Belong votes cost 55 cents max. 190 votes for mobiles extra. Lines close 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time this Sunday, May 11. Terms and conditions, bigbrother.com.au. But, you know, when you're around, you're going to realise who's, who's been, like, the 
deliberately nice guy, this, that, yeah. you know, I'm overly nice guy, this, that, not yeah. overly nice girl, this, that. You'll find out, mate, yeah. in a few days. No, nah, it's good, man. Everyone's all right, except for Terry. <laughs> I can't believe how much you hate her. Are you up, Terry? I'm awake, why? Is um, Corey meant to be sleeping here? Yeah. Because he's not in his bed? Oh, well. Too bad. She's pretty. Well, like, she does add to the, um, you know, dynamics of the yeah, house. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. It's kind of like it's because it, she wants. It's like she's ready to argue. Who? Terry. Your chaperone. Yeah, your mate. Your mum. I think if I see her getting, because technically she's not completing her task right now, because she's gone to bed before me. Exactly. Yeah. She <laughs> has to get me to bed. This is Big Brother. Terry, as Corey's guardian. One of your responsibilities is, is to ensure he goes to bed <laughs> at a reasonable hour. Oh, man. Terry, your mission oh. is slipping away from you. <laughs> Don't listen to her. No, but then she'll come out and annoy us. Have a look. Mm. Oh, you're ready too. Mm. It's having a gas bag. Mm. So none of you are going to bed tonight? No. Oh, OK. Are you going to sleep anytime soon? Oh, well, I might. Mm. And if you had any consideration for anyone, you'd go to bed too. All right. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Huh? What are you laughing at? Well, because obviously you don't have any considerations for anybody, so... I'm not considering for you. For me? Yeah, yeah, I'm for me. Oh. That's not my fault. You have to put me to sleep and I'm not tired. Consideration for anyone, you'd go to bed too. All right. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Huh? What are you laughing at? Well, because obviously you don't have any considerations for anybody, so... I'm not considering for you. For me? Yeah, yeah, I'm for not me. Tired. Oh. That's not my fault. You have to put me to sleep and I'm not tired. What does a 17 year old kid do? They don't go to sleep. Okay. Whatever. What can you do? Exactly. Kids these days. Uh, uh, She's going to have a nervous breakdown, the poor old thing. Oh <laughs> good, man. Seriously. We're going to go and see what we can do. Ghost is juicy, Mini. We are. <laughs> are you really? Oh, oh Roger. So juicy. Go out and get him and say, come in and, and sleep with us. <laughs> That's a good idea. Thank you, girls. I should have thought of that one. <laughs> what are you guys laughing at? It's cold. Are you coming to sleep? Oh, Dixie's out Why? here. We want to talk to you. Do I have to go to sleep? No, we want you to come in. Everyone wants to talk to you. Oh. Or oh, is Terry making you do this? No. As if no, they no, 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 no. Carry I on. wouldn't listen, no. Oh, oh, that's cool. a bit, yeah. Oh. Oh, Yay! Dawn on day eight, and something strange has happened overnight. The backyard has been trashed. The post-party mess is the start of this week's task, designed to make Corey feel at home. To pass, housemates will have to clean up after Big Brother's parties all week parties they're not invited to. Jesus. Housemates, great party last night. So it's about the mess. Uh, See you later. See you later, big brother. I've got a text message on that screen. Where? What the hell has he done to the backyard? Great party last night. So was about the mess. <laughs> mm. God. Oh, look at it. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> 